Hello, Outpour East, Outpour Doors, everything fishing. And today I wanna to give you guys a quick look at my boat. Um, I have a little 12 foot boat that I've been fishing out of. And uh, dude, this thing is awesome. It's a low uh, Sea Nymph V series, a uh, little 12 foot boat. Man, this thing is just the bee's knees. Got a little eight horsepower Mercury on this bad boy and uh, i'm just gonna walk you through it the stuff i did to it uh, me and my dad actually built this boat um, when i got it it was pretty bare bones it had some carpet glued to the aluminum so there was aluminum seat here an aluminum seat here and there is an aluminum seat here so we made the deck we made the casting deck um, with um, storage in there i'm about to open it and show you guys uh, we made all of this with plywood, with this storage too. Um, we put the, we installed the seats, all that stuff. So let me walk through, walk you through it real quick and show you what's going on. Let's start at the back. Um, we actually had to drill holes in the back, which is no big deal, to put uh, support for this guy, which let me take it off and show you what's going on in there. So this comes right out and in back here I just have some uh, some wood here and some wood here two by fours that are that that we treated with some kills and uh, that's what you see here and we just drilled right back through it and that gives us our support we did a brand new transom here with the two by four and back here I carry my gas can and then some miscellaneous things in a basket, my lights, uh, my registration and extra batteries for the lights, uh, a first aid kit down there, pretty intense first aid kit, and, uh, <laughs> and some paracord. Um, here, this battery here is for one thing and one thing only, and it's for the bilge pump. So um, I have it rigged up here, so hand I have it rigged up here so if I ever am in a pickle and need to get some water out just attach that there and it kicks out water pretty fast when I when I um when I got this all put together I actually filled the boat up with water with my hose back here I filled it up a good amount and uh <laughs> and uh it kicked it out pretty good so the bilge pump works really well so there's that that back side here. I have a I have a little rope here just so I can tie off to the dock when I'm at the dock. And that's the that's the back. Um I know you guys are probably going to wonder how much I paid for this boat. I don't know. I mean, I paid a uh, I pay, we already had the motor. Um the motor was actually kind of a gift so um but i think the motors people use these as like kickers these little motors they go for a lot man i, I see them on facebook marketplace sometimes and i don't know i don't know why they go for that much but they're they're kind of expensive they go for like a, about a, a grand or sometimes a little less sometimes even more so yeah the motor we didn't really pay for but um the boat i paid 1200 bucks with the trailer so it's not exactly a budget boat and I and I I put probably like three hundred bucks into it. My my dad blessed me, and he um he bought all the wood, all the all the supplies, carpet, everything, and uh, it took us about a week to build the boat. So let's keep going through it. Uh, got these rod holders here. They're just Walmart rod holders. Um, we put these pieces of wood, carpeted wood here, and then I just drilled these rod holders in, and they work great got this seat that i got from walmart and uh it's awesome and this is actually on a swivel mount and these come off which i like because if i don't want to use them i could just take them right out so and then it just gives me my flat deck my uh my pfd the same pfd i've been using for years <laughs> i recommend this pfd if anyone uh uses a kayak or anything anything really i love this pfd it's a NRS Chinook. 
The only thing that I've changed on it is I've added this little, uh, this little lanyard, this little kill switch. So put that on there. If I fly out of the boat, the motor will die and I won't, um, my boat won't end up in Canada somewhere. <laughs> Center deck is, um, th this, we, we, um, we actually didn't build the floor. The floor came with it. We just, we just, uh, took it out and then recarpeted it and retreated it. So the under here, under the floor, I'm running wiring. I'm doing all types of stuff. I'm not going to take it apart, but yeah. And I keep this bucket in here, um, at all times. This is just like kind of a catch all. I throw a bunch of stuff in there. Right now it's rigged for catfish. I've been catfishing, but uh, I, I, I fish for any, everything. I, I, I fish for bass for a while out of this boat. So on this side, I have a little, a little bait stick, which is just to catch smaller fish so I can use them for cut bait. Uh, I have a, a measuring board. This is actually a measuring board that I use on my kayak when I, uh, when I uh, join kayak tournaments. And it's a great measuring board. The, these little bags here, I actually got them from the Plano crate. Uh, it's, it's, it's like an insert for the crate, which you're going to see because it's in there. And um, these bags came with it, so I just keep miscellaneous things in there. I got some tools, some leader line, some uh, netting, you know, just miscellaneous things. And they really, really work great. Got some more stuff in there, a scale, a knife, my sunglasses. And then uh, I just screwed them in with uh, just some Phillips, little Phillips screws. Same thing on this seat, but this seat, I actually, this uh, little casting seat, pedestal seat, I actually got off Amazon. Um, they had them at Bass Pro um, Cabela's, but I wanted it to match. So, <laughs> so I ordered this off Amazon. I think it was like 30 bucks for the seat. And then um, they, they, these I bought all separately. I think it was like 14 bucks, 14 bucks. And then the middle was 25, maybe. Don't quote me, but it's about 60 bucks to get the, the little kit. So um, about 90 bucks to get like a whole shindig like this. But if you just want the bottom and, the, and this part, it's a little bit less. So I like the low seat back here and the high seat back there. And actually, when I go out with my daughter and my wife, I remove this seat. And most of the time when I'm out alone, I remove this seat so I can have the space. And I just take this thing. So this thing is just a little, uh, I don't even know what it is. It's, it's like a flotation device, but it's, it's good padding. I got it at Cabela's. And I usually just take this and that seat and this stays home. Uh, Cause when I'm, when I'm fishing alone, I like to sit here and watch my rods and the rod holders and yeah, kind of rambling, but it's all good. This video is just going to go up just like this. <laughs> so I got a rod holder right here. Uh, keep some tools in it. Uh, keep, I can keep three rods in there or two rods and my net like I have now. And I just drive with it just like this. So I drive down the road just like this. Got two uh, catfish rods right now because that's what I've been using. My anchor system is awesome, dude. This thing is awesome. I use a mushroom anchor. I think it's in my trunk, but um, I use a mushroom anchor. And uh, this is an anchor mate. And I just loosen it here, like, and then it just drops down. It drops down right from here. This is where my anchor goes. Got, got a big mess with the rope right here. And uh, the anchor just drops and it works great. Let's uh, let's go to the front deck here. So let's go to the other side. <clears throat> what I actually did, I put one more fishing rod holder here and then I put a cleat. Just And the cleat is just for anything really. Hi guys, I'm making a video. You wanna be in my video? Say good afternoon. Took a good nap? She don't want to talk to you. <laughs> so yeah, so up here I can I can uh I put these two these bungees. This is just a tarp bungee. The ball is on the other side. 
I just slid it right through and uh, I just put that there and I can drive with like five rods, six rods. That's usually the most I put when I'm, when I'm bass fishing. I have a bunch of rods here and uh, works great. Uh, I use the Hummingbird Piranha Max 4DI. Uh, it works great. I use the down imaging and uh, it works great. There's not much to say about it. Sometimes the the sometimes the uh the thermometer's a little funky, but uh that's pretty much all I can say about it. Sometimes it says a number that I know the water isn't. But uh I don't know. And uh yeah, the the transducer's right back here. This boat takes on absolutely no water. I mean, no water. It it just it doesn't leak at all. I know people say all aluminum boats leak, but this one, it doesn't. So here's my, my hatch here, which I have a Minkota box, which is great. It tells me how charged the battery it is. is. It has two uh, little 12 volt, like the cigarette, hold the cigarette uh, lighter things. And in here, I just keep some other stuff. I got my worm bag. I got an external battery. Dude, if you guys camp, I know this is, this this is just awesome if you guys camp or if you guys do anything this thing is great it's a ryobi battery i got two of these six amp batteries they're a little pricey but they last forever and it goes right in here and i got USB C, which i use for my laptop i got just usb and then it got it has a pretty um a pretty bright light too so it's just a this thing is awesome so you could use it at night that light is pretty bright it'll it'll flash or it'll turn on regularly really really awesome this thing is sweet and then i got my charger in there for my my other little battery in the back and then i got my catfish box because this is all i've been using so i haven't even been taking my big bag it was just in my trunk so i put it in there for the video so i just got my catfish box and this is everything i need for catfish other than bait so I take this and my bait and I'm good to go. Uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, this is my um, my charger for my battery. It's a Minkota portable charger. You just throw these on the thing and it's just so I don't have to take that big old battery out. It's a Mighty Max. It's the biggest battery I can get. Um, it's gigantic. Helicopter passing by. It's gigantic and it just, um, it weighs like 90 pounds. So I don't like taking it out of there. So I just use this, take this into the house, plug it in with an extension cord and I charge it. But to tell you the truth, I haven't charged it yet. I've been out on the, I've been out and used the trolling motor and my, uh, my Piranha Max is hooked up to that about 18 times and I I haven't charged it because it just isn't it isn't draining I don't use the the trolling motor too much but here's the trolling motor this is just a cheap little trolling motor that I got from Walmart and it works great I do want I want a bow mount but I, to tell you the 100% truth I just don't really need it I actually had the trolling motor back there um, and I moved it up here recently and I mean, I don't know. I just don't really think I need a anything different, anything more than this. This thing works great. It could get this. It gets this boat going pretty good. It just works great. Um, the rev the reverse on this thing is is absolutely pointless. It's an Endura thirty pound thrust. So if you're getting this thing and you're expecting to go in reverse don't expect to go in reverse but other than that uh it moves this little boat pretty good i think it's great i don't think i i don't think i forgot anything i think i went through pretty much everything about the boat 15 minute video not bad uh the trailer was in good shape when i got it it needs some work uh i, I i'm gonna get to that i just <laughs> we worked on the boat and i've been fishing so much i haven't even got to the trailer but uh yeah there she is 
she's absolutely awesome and i have a a bimini cover for it too which i don't use because it just gets in my way but uh it's in my shed over there and it just attaches right here yeah when i when i um when i got the boat i just thought of every idea that i could possibly think of that i wanted out of a boat and i did it there's also um uh some uh oar locks here and then my oars are right over here but like i said i don't really use those either so that's the boat guys thank you guys for uh taking a look at my little uh 12 foot fishing boat if you like these kind of videos give the give the channel a subscribe if you don't subscribe i won't hold it against you i love you anyway uh give the video a like though that would be awesome. It really boosts it up and helps the helps the channel grow. And if you like fishing, um, I do fresh freshwater fishing, uh, Lake Erie and Lake Erie tributaries. I live here in Western New York, so um, if you like any type of stuff like that, man, this is the channel for you. Outpour East, Outpour Outdoors, everything fishing. Uh, love you guys. God bless.